Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello. You are spiritually connected with Katiba. That's for sure. Okay, look. Your conscience is rising. It is not surprising that they don't like you. <laughs> it's not surprising. It really isn't. For one, people can't get over on you like they used to. You're much smarter than that. You're much brighter than that. You've been through enough. You've been through a lot. You've learned a lot, especially from dealing with them. Your conscience is rising. It's not surprising that they don't like you. They can't manipulate you anymore. They can't control you anymore. They can't use their reverse psychology tactics against you anymore. You're not like the rest. The ways in which they deal with other people, they used to deal with you like that too. That was before you, like you was a little asleep. You was a little blind to the situation. You was deep in, you didn't realize. But once you pull back, once you step back and you realize what really was going on, for one, your conscience was rising. <laughs> you no longer allow them to deal with you in that way. And for that reason, they don't like you. Your conscience is rising. It's not a surprise that they don't they don't like you. There's a lot of they're ugh, tongue twisted. Look. There are many people who are walking around asleep. There are many people who are walking around like zombies. There are many people who are walking around like they're unconscious. A lot of people are walking around on autopilot. So because you have standards, because you have boundaries, because you have that self-love and self-respect, they don't like it. They don't like it. They'd rather have the you that was a pushover. They'd rather have the you that was a yes man they rather have the you that was a people pleaser but you have moved from that you have grown from that your conscience is constantly rising you're constantly elevating like you're constantly becoming um like a greater version of yourself and they don't like that another reason is because they're stuck they are stuck no matter what it looks like from the outside in, no matter what materialistic possessions that they withhold, no matter what type of job that they have. They want what you got <laughs> and what you got can't be bought with the money that they got. They can't buy like they can't go out and say, hey, look, I want to be conscious. Here's $500. Here's $5,000. Like, hey, I want to be woke too. Hey, I want to be like him. I want to be like her. They can't buy it. They can't buy the relationship that you have with God. They can't buy it. Your conscience is rising. You are tuned in. You are tapped in. They feel it. They see it. And more importantly, they see the way that the world is responding to you. They want that. And because of that, because they can't have it, because they have tried everything in their power, including competing with you, um, trying to turn others against you, um, what else? Like talking down on you, like not liking you, copying you. They've tried everything in their power to be like you, to have a higher conscience as well, but it didn't work. They thought that they followed the blueprint to be like you they thought they they had the blueprint to a higher consciousness because they they watch you like they continuously watch you they watch your every move and it's still not working they try mimicking you it's just not working nothing is working your conscious is rising and they don't like that they don't like that they don't like that about you they rather have the old you back they rather have the old you back who was down for just about any and everything that one who they can call and you'll come running <laughs> no matter what. No matter what. That old you is gone. That old you is dead and gone, okay? Your conscience is rising. It's not a surprise that they don't like you. They're a low-level conscious human being. <laughs> That's what they are. They're a low-level conscious human being. And because they see you so radiant, because they see you so vibrant, because they see you like luxurious from the inside, though, on the inside out. And because they want that and because they can't have that. They don't fool with you like that. 
They don't fool with you. So they want other people to not fool with you as well. They want other people to not fool with you as well. So they go out and they say anything. They go out and they try anything in their power to get people against you. To turn people against you. So that people could feel how they feel about you. But deep down inside, they really love you. <laughs> deep down inside, they really want to be like you. Deep down inside, they really are jealous and envious of you. So is it really that they want people to feel how they feel? Or is it that they want people to feel... Or they just want people to not like you? Because people don't like them in that way. People don't respond to them in that way. People aren't showing them love in that way. The world isn't there. God isn't there. The divine is not there for them like they are for you in that way. Your conscience is rising. It's not a surprise, quite honestly. It's not a surprise. But what where the surprise came in is, is who, the who behind it. Who is this that we speaking of? Them out of all people you never would have suspected. To turn like this, to act like this. To become this different version of themselves that's clearly been hidden the whole time. <laughs> it's clearly been hidden the whole time. They were really good at the mask that they wore. The mask that they wore. But that thing fell off. <laughs> that mask accidentally fell off. And now their true colors are revealed. So now you see like, okay, it makes sense that they don't like me. Because they didn't like this person. They didn't like that person. They was talking mess about this person. They was talking about mess about that person. But you was blind. When they was talking to, when they was talking to you about other people... Who they supposedly loved or supposedly should care about or supposedly like whatever. You didn't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it. You were blind. You were in a warp. They had you in a warp. And now that you're no longer in that warp, they don't like that. Because you you like the only one who got out. They're really good at the game that they play. They are. Your conscience has risen. So it's really like a bait for negativity like they caught up in that thing they caught up in that thing and it hurts anytime they see you doing good anytime they see you fending for yourself anytime they see you moving in a positive direction they want to try and tarnish that your conscience is rising they don't want to see the good you they want to see that negative you they want to see that down and out you they want that person who possibly needed them they want that person who was always available now that you're not available now that you're on bigger and better things they don't like that about you they don't like that about you and it's causing them to not like you period y'all don't vibe y'all not on the same vibrations you two you guys are different this will be most about multiple people but you guys are different but for you, you're different in the best way possible. But the way that they're looking at it is you different. Who you think you is? Who you think you is that you're doing that? Who you think you is that you making decisions for yourself? Who you think you is that you claim to be happy? Like, who you think you is that you hold out here? <laughs> this is how they looking at you. They're like, who the heck you think you is? Because they don't know nobody happy like that. They don't know nobody whole like that. They don't know nobody who fan for themselves. They don't know nobody who speak up for themselves. They don't know nobody who has a connection with the source directly. Them folks got to go to G through Jesus. <laughs> they don't know nobody like you. Your conscience is rising. It's not a surprise that they don't like you. Look at all the people they told you they ain't like in the past. <laughs> Look at all the people that they were saying that they was into, into it with. Look at all the people that they was talking mess about to you. But they were smiling in their face. Your conscience is rising. It's not a surprise that they do not like you. They don't even like themselves, quite honestly. <laughs> they don't. They don't like themselves. They don't like anybody. So how could they like you? 
They don't like themselves. They don't like who they are. They're not content. They're not happy. This is why they try so hard to be like you. This is why when you move, they move just like that, okay? This is why they do that. This is why they move in which ways that they move. This is why they sneaky with it. Like, this is why they, well, they think they sneaky with it. They think that you don't know. But you know. You ain't got to say nothing. Your conscience is rising. You left that old you in the past. That don't mean that you won't go there with them. But not if they don't take you there. They can say whatever behind your back. They can do whatever behind your back. As long as it does not directly affect you. Your higher conscious says, leave them be. Leave them alone. Fall back on them. And that's exactly what you have done. That's exactly what you have done. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so in the comment section. Uh, if you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me, I do invite you to become a member on this channel. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.